Welcome back. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Yet another TikTok challenge is going viral. This time, teachers are being targeted. As News 8's David Gofferton reports, October is the month where students are telling each other on the app to smack a staff member and post the video on social media. Is this that one teacher you want to slap? <laughs> here we go again. Hey, hey, come here. The October challenge on TikTok is to smack a staff member. Oh, I like your cut, G. Last month, it was the Devious Licks Challenge, where students steal hand sanitizer and soap dispensers from school bathrooms and generally vandalize anything they can get their hands on in the restrooms. Poway Unified School District put out a warning to parents in September, destruction of school property will not be tolerated. You know, this isn't just a harmless prank. There are serious consequences um, for the sake of social media notoriety. Social media experts say students post the videos to get likes and be popular without considering the repercussions. And they think, OK, if these people are getting notoriety, then it will be worth it. It'll be worth it if I'm suspended from school. And this is even if they think about consequences. Others believe the challenges start out as pranks or even hoaxes before being imitated over and over again on TikTok. TikTok does not have any parental control functions. They do not have a kid algorithm versus an adult algorithm. You know, something that would possibly direct children to a different space. Poway Unified School District told me today so far they have not seen any of this latest smack a staff member challenge at any of their school campuses, but we're going to have to wait and see. This is supposed to last all month and it's only October 4th. Carla? Let's just hope that our local students are, are a little smarter than this, David. So any advice for parents to keep their kids from getting sucked into this kind of behavior on social media? Well, experts say keep an eye on your children's social media posts and talk to them about illegal behavior on social media. I know it's easier said than done with teenagers, but communication is the key. David Gofferton with some good advice on your kids and social media. Thanks, David.